Republican Senator Mitt Romney of Utah signaled he is on board with the Senate taking up a new Supreme Court nominee following the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. His declaration paves the way for the Senate to vote on Justice Ginsburg's replacement ahead of November's general election. President Trump announced that he plans to name the nominee on Saturday. CBS 4 Skylar Henry is at the White House with more. Senate Republicans say they have the votes to move forward on a Supreme Court nominee after Utah's Mitt Romney announced he will back a vote. If a, uh, a nominee actually reaches the floor, then I will vote based upon the qualifications of that nominee. We have an obligation under the Constitution, should we choose to take advantage of it, uh, to fill the vacancy, and I assure you that's very likely to happen. Senate Democrats have vowed to oppose the nomination. I'll be voting against the process of moving forward, and I'll be voting against whatever's there because it's not right. President Trump says he will announce his Supreme Court pick here at the White House this Saturday after services for the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg have concluded. We will go about this um, the way we always have by putting forward a constitution abiding textualist originalist that we believe the American people will appreciate and we believe will uh, get through the approval process, the nomination and confirmation process, I should say, uh, quite quickly. CBS News has learned the president met in person with one of the front runners on a short list, federal appeals judge Amy Coney Barrett at the White House. Judge Barrett is a favorite among religious conservatives. We're in the middle of an election. They should wait. 2020 Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden says a high court nominee should not be considered until after the election. More than half of swing voters surveyed in a new CNBC change research poll say President Trump should not be able to nominate a replacement if he loses his bid for re-election. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. The body of Justice Ginsburg will lie in repose at the Supreme Court Wednesday and Thursday after a private service on Friday. She will become the first woman to lie in the state at the U.S. Capitol. Wall Street's iconic fearless girl statue is wearing lace, a lace collar to honor Justice Ginsburg. She was known for wearing a lace collar on the bench. Like the statue, Ginsburg was also an icon in the fight for women's rights in the U.S. One of her many achievements was launching the ACLU's Women's Rights Project. Justice Ginsburg was a New York native. And look for much more on the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.